Hello. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? I'm just gonna give this a minute for people to pop on. So, um, as you guys know, if you don't know me or if you've never been on live with me, um, I like to have a dialogue with you guys about what specific questions you have about the content I put out, about my products, about anti-inflammatory lifestyle. I really want this to be a space where you guys can ask me specific questions about what you have going on in your body and I can help you directly from here. I get a ton of DMs and a ton of comments and I can't get to them all. And so I'm trying to do these lives much more often so you guys have access to me to be able to ask me a bunch of questions. Um, I am the creator of the Diamandia Body Gua Sha. Um, it focuses on traditional Chinese medicine. This is the Body Gua Sha. Um, I launched this product about two years ago. No, a year and a half ago, uh, January of last year. So I've been to market for a year and a half. Um, I do a lot of talking about lymphatic drainage, about anti-inflammatory lifestyle, about peptide therapy, about all the stuff about living an anti-inflammatory lifestyle. So if you guys have questions about any of the comments that I put out um, or any of the content I put out, please ask. This is a space for you to be able to do that. Um, I just did a huge sale for the seven day reset, which ended last night. Um, it is a seven day program that a lot of people start and they never end it. They just keep going and going and going um, because they feel so good in their skin. It's a program based off of how I live my life every single day. So what I do is basically the exact outline of the seven day reset, this is how, oh my God, this is how I live my life. Uh, I just got a message from kitty cat 938. Hey, you've changed my life. Thank you. You have like no idea um, how nice it is to hear that. So I really appreciate you letting me know and I'm so happy for you and you know, like this is really, I'm gonna start crying. Um, this can be really hard to get on here and, you know, put out the content I put out and do this every day and people are fucking mean. And it's messages that, like that, I'm gonna actually screenshot this. It's messages like that, that keep me fucking going. It re they really do and it's like so, it's so unbelievable to read something like that when you're in your shit. Like you have no idea how many times I've almost quit like doing this. I've almost quit like a thousand times. And so reading that comment just like means the absolute world to me. And I, and I thank you so much for writing that like, um, can you just tell me a little bit more about what, you know, changes you've made that have changed your life and why, you know, what I have, like what kind of info that you've got for me that have like really made the difference for you and like what you've done. Have you started the seven day reset? Are you using the body gua sha? Like give me some ideas about like what, what the needle has moved for you. So if you guys are just joining, um, I just started this live like a minute ago and this lovely person just wrote that I've changed their life and how grateful they are. And I almost started crying. <laughs> so um, I now I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. So um, I was just really expressing how wonderful it was to hear that and how absolutely 
difficult this can be to show up here and do this work and get, you know, ridiculed and continuously put content out there and, you know, expose your health and, and your, your body to trolls and it gets hard and, you know, I've wanted to quit a lot and it's comments like that, that just like really make me keep fucking going. And I have a folder actually in my phone of screenshots of comments like that. So when I do get down on myself or when I do want to quit or like not want to do this anymore or like can't handle it, I go in and I read those comments and they really keep me like very back aligned with my intention and why I'm doing this in the first place. And it's just like, I need one of those. <laughs> just, that's all I need. So I really appreciate you writing that. It's like the sweetest thing. Um, you have no idea. So, um, I, um, I'm just, so I'm just going to read back kind of like what I do in these lives again, guys, is like, I really want to create a dialogue with you. I get so many comments and so many DMS that I can't keep up with getting back to people. And so I'm, going to be consistent with showing up here on lives so that you guys do have access to ask me direct questions about the content that I put out, about the seven day reset, about the body gua sha, about living an anti-inflammatory lifestyle, about meditation, kind of what I've gone through in my body, you know, anything you've seen in my content, that's what this is. So please put those questions in the comments and I will definitely be able to answer them. Please keep it fucking PG. That's all I ask. Um, if you come with any bullshit, I'm just gonna like block you off. So um, just reading some of the stuff that's come through, just keep doing what you're doing. I, I really do plan on it. Hi, Amy, how are you? Um, so Amy said, you're doing awesome, love you, love your work. You're doing the right thing and helping so many people keep, up, keep it up. So thank you guys, so sweet. Um, what can I answer for you in terms of questions from the content that I put out? Um, what do you, <laughs> you guys are so sweet today. I, I really appreciate it. Like, I don't think I've ever had a live where I've gotten so much amazing feedback and I am so fucking grateful. And if you make me cry on this thing, I'm going to be mad at you. <laughs> so, um, it can be really tough. You know, this can be, social media is not for the weary. You gotta have a thick skin and you gotta be really clear with your intention and keep showing up. And consistency is what makes the needle move here. And it's hard to do that when people try to beat you down. So this is, it's so wonderful to see these beautiful messages, which I'm definitely gonna screenshot. So you guys are gonna go into that folder. <laughs> Absolutely. So let's talk about inflammation. Let's talk about the body gua sha. Let's talk about meditation. Um, if you guys were on my live yesterday, we talked a lot about meditation. Um, and okay, so I got a question from Amy. If you have the gua sha and do that and dry brush, you do that, where would you start? Gut healing, mental health, detox, all of that. Is there an order of operations? Okay. So I like to break this really, I like to break this down so it's not overwhelming because this, this kind of stuff can get really overwhelming, right? Like you can really go into rabbit hole, like any which way of this, with this content with detoxing, right? Just air fresheners alone. You can just mind fuck yourself out of doing anything. So fundamentally, I like to think of this in three steps. What comes in, like what's coming into your world what, how you maintain, and then how you remove, okay? So what comes in can be the foods that you eat, it can be the, like, the detergents that you wash your clothes with, the air fresheners in your house, or in your car, um, the relationships that you have, the amount of stress that comes in, how much you're pouring out of your cup, like what's coming in, is it toxic, okay? So what are you exposed to? So let's really think about that. Is the food that's coming into your life, and I'm looking at this from a fundamental perspective of anti-inflammatory, 
I always come back to, is this supporting me living an anti-inflammatory lifestyle, okay? So what's coming in? Is the food that I'm eating organic? Does it have gums? Does it have crap oils in it? Does it have, what is it, okay? What is it a nightshade, okay? Does it follow like the, like the fundamentals or principles of the seven day reset? What is it, okay? Then is this relationship serving me? Is this relationship toxic? Is this more stress? Is this work environment stressful? Is this work environment toxic? Is this adding more stress? Is this making me more inflamed? Okay, so really what's coming in here, like in, okay? Then how do I maintain, okay? Am I maintaining my life to live an anti-inflammatory way? Am I meditating every day? Am I, like, are my workouts supporting living an anti-inflammatory life? Or are my workouts adding more stress or more pressure? Or are they causing me to be more inflamed? So like, how do I maintain, okay? Then, how am I removing? So it's in, how do we, like, deal with it? And then how do we get it out of our bodies? Am I using the dry brush every day? Am I using the Demon Body Gua Sha every day? Am I using an infrared sauna? What am I doing to remove toxins? So basically, other than like urination and defecation, like that's the only way we remove toxins. Sweating can definitely support toxin removal. My issue with relying only on cardio to remove toxins is usually we're not regulated enough to come back to a non-inflammatory state after a long cardio session. So how do we support removing toxins without adding more stress or pressure? I'm so sorry about what's happening outside right now. I don't have any control over that. Um, but if you've been on my lives before, you know there's always a car alarm in the back. <laughs> So what, right, it spikes cortisol. So if you're dealing with a cortisol issue, then you need to be very understanding of your inflammatory state of like what I'm talking about, right? Like how you're responding to stress, how you're maintaining your stress and how you're removing toxins from your body. Like, are you giving yourself the space to heal yourself or are you just running yourself into the ground expecting your body to heal so there's a lot of i think also our age too or i'm assuming our age is similar because of the demographic of my audience in general if you're like age 30 plus whatever you've been doing your entire life has most likely been adding stress and then usually what happens is something happens and then you realize that you can't lose the weight or your body won't drop pounds and it and i hear this a lot from women well obviously because women have just reached out to be much more vulnerable with me but what i hear is i can't lose the 15 pounds I, i've been i'm working out so hard my i'm eating so clean but it won't come off and it's because your body doesn't work the way that it, it was working like you, everything has changed but you're still trying to work out the same way you've been working out your whole life and you're expecting a different result which is insanity right it's absolutely insane to keep doing the same thing over and over again and expect a different result right your body is not reacting so you have to really understand it's about inflammation and it took me so fucking long to get this in my brain. Like I would have shingles and go running. Like you don't understand. Like I'm talking about this because I have faced this consistently over and over. I've, I've ran right into the brick wall. I've run into that brick wall a hundred times. I had shingles 45 times. Okay. Like, I have literally been through every health issue that there is like, and I still kept trying to do the same thing. So I have a couple comments in here. What triggers is, me is meant to he heal us? Yes. All right, did you do? I'm guilty of the hardcore workouts and drinking pre-workout beforehand. You have to stop. So 
if you want to reduce inflammation, you have to get rid of pre-workout and you have to stop hardcore workouts. And I understand how hard that is to like wrap your brain around that. I, I can tell you right now that from my own personal experience, and I had to see it in other women first, and I didn't believe it even then, even though I saw it, that if you reduce your inflammation, you don't need the hard workouts. You can get better results by working out less and putting your body under less stress. I work out 15 to 20 minutes a day with one pound weights maximum, most of the time with no weight. I do mat Pilates at home in my living room. I don't have a gym membership anymore. You're talking to the girl who used to run 150 flights of stairs before she started her workout. Okay, I drink pre-workout, I drink pots of coffee, I didn't eat and I did it for years and I've never been able to achieve the way that I feel right now, which then has reflected the way that I look right now my entire life. My entire life I have been striving to look the way I do right now and I do the least amount of exercising, the least amount of working out I've ever done in my entire life, and I meditate the most. I literally do the least in general that I've ever done in my life. If I looked at myself 10 years ago on how I am now, I would think I was a lazy piece of shit. I would be judgmental to myself, and I would think that I, that was like blasphemy. And I have seen it over and over again. And I had to be forced to sit down because I got shingles over and over again to the point where I started getting it so bad that it would I couldn't get out of bed for two weeks. And I, I couldn't do it. Like my, I actually couldn't. Like my nerve body kept me trying and trying for a couple months, but then finally my body sat me the fuck down. It was like, no, you're gonna learn this lesson and that's the end of the story. And so, and I keep, I still come back to this wavering back and forth with it. It's the moments that I sit and do nothing, like I call them rot days, right? Where I just let my body heal, like lazy Sundays, right? If I have a lazy full weekend, like especially if it rains outside and I just want to like read a book, I will do my meditation, I will do my 15 minute workout, and then I will do nothing. I'll record some recipe videos. That's where you guys see a lot of recipe videos coming through from me is those lazy days. I don't go outside. I don't go for a walk. I literally will lay in bed for two straight days. After the two days of me sitting on my ass, like literally in my bed, I will get up with an eight pack. My lower abdomen will have definition because I have been and a meditative restful state for a long period of time so my body can heal the most. And what you're doing with these meditations um, is that you're training your nervous system to process stress, okay? So I'm gonna answer some of these questions. Does it matter what time of day you do the gua sha? No, it doesn't matter at all, okay? I just want you to do it every day. I. I'm a product of routine, and if I don't do it as part of my daily routine, it doesn't get done. So how I like to set myself up to win with the gua sha and the dry brush is every time I shower, I'm using those tools. Before I take a shower, I activate my lymph nodes, I use the dry brush, I shower. I get out of the shower, I put my oil on, and then I use the body gua sha. That is what I do every day. Then I get dressed, then I put makeup on if I do that, which is a rarity. That is what, is happening so like that's what I do whatever time I take a shower that's when it's happening so like that's the only thing that I care about is consistency I don't care about the time of day um do you need to reduce caffeine too I mean I don't know what you're drinking for caffeine but I think a cup a day is max like you can't live on caffeine like if you're drinking pre-workout and also having coffee, your nervous system's a fucking disaster. It's just the way it is. Like, if you're over 20, <laughs> like two, we, no, 
So remember also that like you got to give yourself time to heal through this. So don't try to quit everything at one time. Take yourself off pre-workout for two weeks. Keep Maintain your caffeine regimen. Manage that shift in your body. Work through that shift until you power through and like stabilize. Then reduce your caffeine so you're drinking one cup a day in the morning and nothing after 11 o'clock. If you have cortisol issues, if you're dealing with estrogen dominance, you got to get yourself down off of coffee anyways. Your estrogen and your cortisol are telling you that you're a fucking disaster. If you're not sleeping at night, same story. This is about your parasympathetic parasymp nervous system and your sympathetic nervous system are not working together anymore. They're fighting each other and you have to learn how to get them back into balance especially if that is happening in your body and you work in a stressful environment, which 99% of us do, right? Um, okay, so question is, I'm prepping for a three-day trek in the mountains with the 50-pound pack. How do I prep my body without punishing it for, the, for this in three weeks? Rest. Like, do... I don't know how long you're going to be hiking throughout the day but start doing like half of that and do a walk with weights but like give yourself time to rest more do a hike two days off do a hike two days off and I'm saying two days off of everything meaning no exercising give yourself time to heal um Do you think aloe vera juice can help with gut healing and detox? Yes, I do, but I wouldn't rely on aloe vera juice to lift, like, to move the needle massively. Um, I do, I've talked about some intense probiotics before. Um, the only probiotics I will stand behind are Zymogen's Daily DF 100 billion. You can order them. I think they're on my Amazon store under gut health. It's Zymogen, X-Y-M-O-G-N. I think I just spelled that wrong. Pretty sure I spelled that wrong. It's in there. It's a white box. It's about a hundred bucks. I would take that for at least nine months every day. You're gonna feel an immediate difference within a month. That is a massive issue. And also the Iome Biome, taking two tablespoons of Iome Biome every morning that will do just fuck the aloe vera juice like usually it's not even potent enough unless you're making it from the aloe vera tree in your or aloe vera cactus in your house i don't want you drinking like the sugar that's in the aloe vera juice that's on the like the cap the on the shelves right now so unless that's where you're at if you're like cutting it yourself and adding it to a smoothie that's helpful but if you're really trying to heal your gut and do some really big lifting with your gut. 100 billion Zymogen D daily DF, nine months with the ion biome. And unless you have mold toxicity in your gut, that will take care of it. If you have mold toxicity in your gut, that is something you need to talk to Dr. Polvin about, which I talk about Dr. Polvin all the time. He is the biohacking functional medicine doctor that I have been seeing for a couple years. He's helped me a lot with healing a lot with inflammation. He introduced me to peptides. Uh, we, dealt, we dealt with mold toxicity in my gut, Lyme disease, Hashimoto's, thyroid issues, a lot of shit. So I do recommend him. You do have to pay out of pocket, but he will see you in other states. He's in New York. I'm in Rhode Island. I t I've never met him in person. It's only telemedicine. So he's fantastic. Um, X, Y... M O G N. If you go to my link in bio and go to the Amazon store and click on that, and then you click on the list, gut health, it's right there. Okay, what do I think about collagen, colostrum, glutamine for gut healing? In IV only. That's how I feel about that. Um, if you're gonna do glutamine, I want you to do it intravenously. Your gut's a mass and your ability to absorb supplements and absorb this, these things right now is probably minimal, right? You gotta heal your gut. So 
I don't think that taking a collagen sub supplement or taking colostrum or any oral supplements or multivitamins are at all helpful at this moment if you have gut issues. Your main focus should be healing your gut. Your main focus should be that probiotic that I mentioned and ion biome, which I mentioned. Taking that, making sure everything that goes into your body is organic and that anything that is a protein is grass-fed and antibiotic free or and hormone free. So following like the fundamentals of the seven day reset, you know, no grains, no gluten, no soy, no dairy, no alcohol, no probiotic or no um, pre-workouts, limiting caffeine, letting your gut heal for nine months, then seeing where you are from that point and how your gut is healing and how your stomach feels, you're gonna feel like a different person anyways because your gut is gonna be healed and you're gonna start really absorbing the nutrients of the foods because like, I don't know how old you are, Amy, or like what, I know we've talked before, but I've, I've chatted with a bunch of people, so I don't know exactly where you are, but if you're having any issues that you're trying to reduce inflammation in your system, your gut's most likely a mess. 99% of us, our guts are a mess. So if you just focus on that one thing of gut healing, and then the, Okay, so you're 41, absolutely everything I said relates. Um, just focus on gut healing and just focus on the principles of the seven day reset. I think you bought the seven day reset, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, focus solely on that, yeah, okay. So high cortisol, estrogen, dominance, mold, and candida. Yeah, absolutely everything I said. If you take a pre-workout again, I'm gonna be pissed off at you. Um, get that caffeine down, get off the pre-workout, do the seven day reset, and then get those two things, those pro, the probiotic I mentioned and Ion Biome from Amazon, and you're gonna be very much heading in the right direction. But don't try to fuck with what I said. Like don't take the probiotics and then take pre-workout because just, you're like lighting everything on fire right? You have to really come back into like, why am I doing this? What is my intention? And I want to be successful here. Don't be addicted to the fact that you think you have to train in order to lose weight. You have to heal these things in your body. Yeah, they cancel each other. You have to heal the high cortisol and the estrogen dominance and the mold and the candida in order for you to change any physical things. Like, you have to heal internally and then eventually your outsides will start to match your insides. So don't try to do the same shit that you've been doing and expect a different result. It's just, it's not going to work out. I mean, you can try and keep doing it. I'm just telling you, it's a waste of money and time. Like why spend a hundred dollars on a probiotic if you're going to take something that's going to destroy it? You know, you're like putting acid in your system. So do we have any more questions about any of the stuff that I have? I'm so thirsty, I had to get some water. I've been talking about. I definitely have been working on two new products. They're gonna be coming out, I think in the next couple of weeks. I'm not gonna tell you what they are because everyone will kill me, but um, they're gonna be on the website soon. And there's gonna be a new website soon. That I will share with you guys. I'm in the final versions of editing that and like really looking at the new site. Um, I'm really proud of it. I'm really excited about it. It's the most, in, the biggest investment I've made into the company so far other than product. So I did my, this current website on my own, or at least the Shopify portion of it, I just took those photos and um, <laughs> launched in a bathroom. Um, so this was a really, really big investment. And it's kind of like the, a big statement for me to take ownership of this portion of this, of, of this portion of the company glowing up. So... 
I'm really, really excited. So if you, you have to clean out your kitchen, Amy said, well, go clean out my kitchen. Again, I'm not sure if you bought the reset or not. If you did buy the reset, there's the pantry guide with all the approved items in there. Only eat those items only stock your kitchen with those items. Those are all clean. There's even chips in there, there's cookies in there. It's not about restriction, I want you to eat. Um, but I want you to eat things that are clean. There's specific types of cheeses um, and then vegan cheeses. And, and don't just look at that pantry guide and say, oh, it's Veal Life, I can buy anything from Veal Life, because you can't. Like there are ingredients in the VO Life Mexican shreds that I do not support and you'll never see me put those Mexican shreds on any list, but the mozzarella shreds are clean. The Colby Jack is clean. Their feta is clean. So I stand behind that. Um, but I just, I don't have any brand that I fully just stand behind. It's the product. So very much an ingredient household. Um, what about mushroom coffee like everyday dose? I don't know enough about mushroom coffee to, to answer that question. Um, I would need to look at the cortisol spikes from mushroom coffee and what happens into your blood sugar with mushroom coffee. So I can't speak to mushroom coffee. Um... That was really the last question. My daily, all right, so what does my your daily routine look like? It is exactly of the seven day reset. So my daily routine is the seven day reset. It's fundamentally, everything that's on here is everything that I do every day except I put a 15 minute meditation on here I do an hour and 20 that's the only difference because I know you guys aren't going to do an hour and 20 you're not even going to do the 15 but like that's the only difference between my routine and the seven day reset you guys don't realize that like I created this program because people like stayed with me and they were just like I'm going to do what you do and their bodies transformed and their souls transformed and they came out of their own skin. And I watched them lose weight and I watched their muscles become defined. I watched six packs happen on women because they were staying with me. And to the point where I saw it and finally someone said, you have to put this out there in the world, like how you live, you have to put it out there. And so I did like, this is why the seven day reset exists. Like. I put the recipes on the website, on my website, because I got tired of emailing them to everybody. Like I got, I was just emailing these fucking recipes. So I was like, I got tired of doing that. And so I just was like, I'm putting it on a website and you guys can just go there. So, um, Leanne, thank you. So my hair is definitely something that I have had to deal with. Uh, it all fell out. And also my hair used to break itself. So I haven't had a haircut in, I think like five years. My hair, right, right around here, my hair would break itself because I was so unhealthy. Um, and my thyroid was broken, all the things that were going on. So I didn't, my hair would never grow past here. It was like, I would laugh about it, be self cutting. And then it's thickness. It, like clumps of hair falling out in the shower of me crying. Okay, so this is like, I got my first haircut this year <laughs> and my hair is now growing again. And it's just about, it's, it's just about everything that I talk about, about this is how I live my life. And this is how, you know, the fundamentals and a lot of this was mental. A lot of this is about I had to let go of my external, like my need to work out three hours a day to validate myself, my need to be a size two in order to feel like I was, insert adjective here, okay? I had to let my body heal. I had to let whatever happen, happen. And I gained 70 pounds, you know, and it, 
I was trying to lose the 70 pounds. I couldn't figure out why I gained the weight. I was, the math was still the same. I was eating this many calories and I was working out this many calories and I couldn't lose the weight. I kept gaining weight. I kept gaining. And so imagine if like you eat 900 calories and you work out 3000 calories and you keep gaining weight. Like it started really affecting my mental health and I felt like I was a prisoner in my own body and the math didn't work and I just couldn't fucking figure it out. And to the point where I started like really having to go in and do all of this research and go see all of these doctors. And you know, this started like a 20 doctor path in Rhode Island. And then I went into Massachusetts cause I couldn't find any answers in Rhode Island. And then I couldn't find the answers in Massachusetts. So I went into New York and I ended up seeing Dr. Sierra and Dr. Paulden, who I talk about all the time. <laughs> In all the videos, I've done a live with Dr. Pulvin, um, and I will do another live with Dr. Pulvin if you guys think it will be beneficial, but I really ask that you show up for those lives to ask questions because he's trying to form groups for specific targets of women. So he has a very high price point. And so if you, you can get a, a group together, we can get lower price points for you guys to be able to get that level of care. Uh, it can get very expensive. So. I will save the video. I'll post it in like in my reels or like in my feed later today. But I forgot what I was talking about. What was I talking about before I went on the Pullman tangent? Um, do, 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 do. I don't remember. I was talking about my, my daily routine. This is my daily routine. This is why this existed. Oh yeah, okay. So people started staying with me. Then I went to Costa Rica with Jennifer Manville. I have talked about this over and over again. She was the first face of, of the transition of the seven day reset. Because Jen, I had this intuitive feeling something was gonna happen with Jen. We went to Costa Rica to do a photo shoot for 10 days. I knew she was gonna change. I didn't know how, I didn't know why. I just asked her to take before photos. And she then like, after that, she was like, I'm just gonna like do what you do. So I just kind of like showed her what I did. We would go to the grocery store together. We would cook food together. I would order food at a restaurant. She would get the same thing. So we were like with each other all the time. And then I would meditate. She would do her own meditation. Like we would do the same exact workouts, the 15 to 20 minute low impact workouts, nothing else. And then her body completely transformed in seven days. She lost 15 pounds and she's 4'11". She's a little guy. She, <laughs> and she, you know, she completely glowed out of herself. I watched her feel comfortable feel comfortable in her own skin. Like I watched it happen. And so she was the one that came to me at the end and was like, you have to put this out there and you have to do a retreat. And I started crying because obviously I love crying <laughs> and, and I did. And so, you know, that's really how this all started was just me seeing it over and over again based on the impact of the people that were around me. I had a guest stay with me last year, Tiffany, and the same shit happened. I watched her get a six pack, you know, within two weeks. And it wasn't, we were like sitting around and exactly what I talk about. It was, we were making the recipes. We were doing the workouts that I do. We were doing the meditations that I do. We were doing the nightly rituals that I do. And that's how this program ended up coming to life. It was because I kept seeing the people around me change. And then it wasn't just the physical change. It was who like their like souls. It was how they felt in their skin. It was how guarded they were. They started to feel good about themselves. They started to shine and I watched them shine. And it was that shine that really made me show this program and create the program. The weight loss is like just a great extra. It has nothing to do with anything else. 
Um, oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I'm going to use people in the locations. It's too much. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's too much to manage. Like that's my main, how much stress can I handle? So when it comes to doing the retreat, I'm going to be dealing with people in the location only. I'm not going to be bringing people with me to do any services. Anybody who's coming to travel down there other than me will be a participant. So I had to like really make that clear with myself as I started doing this because it's very overwhelming to try to do this in a different country, to try to do this in general, especially a high ticket offer situation that I'm putting together. It's very daunting. So, but I really appreciate the offer. I thank you so much. Um, and I hope that you can join us. Uh, that's going to be the third week of January. It'll be in Costa Rica. It, most likely Santa Teresa because that's where the magic happened the past two times. So I feel like because it happened down there, it's only right to do the retreat in Costa Rica. Um, it will be at least seven days. I know that. It will be a high ticket offer. This will be a higher priced um, retreat. There will be two tiers. There will be single occupancy and double occupancy. Obviously the double occupancy will be cheaper. Um, but this will not be like a two grand situation. This is a full integrative anti-inflammatory lifestyle morning through the evening, you know, teaching you guys how to cook, teaching you about the ingredients, teaching you about why we choose the ingredients really about educating you and making this an integral part. I haven't even put it on. So Mina Floros, I haven't, it's nowhere. It's nowhere, nowhere's the information right now. So I haven't even gotten it out there. We're just like jamming about it um, because of what happened with the seven day reset and with Jen in Costa Rica, we just started talking about it. I haven't put this out there into the universe at all. Um, there's no place to sign up yet. I have a sign up sheet for people who are interested, so I can send you that link, but I don't have a landing page or anything that tells the details of what's going on. So um, I am gonna do a retreat twice a year. That's feeling correct. So I'm really, I'm gonna do a January one and I think I might do like a May one or April. Um, let me write down your contact, Mina Floros. I'll send you a DM with that info or with the sign up sheet. Actually, do I even know where the sign up sheet is? I can like pull it up right now. Retreat. Mm, no, I don't. Okay, I'll just text message it to you. Um, anybody else who's interested has any interest? Okay, Leanne, I will send you that as well. But I don't have numbers nailed, but I wouldn't expect this to be less than like 9K for double occupancy based on the information that I have seen so far from the numbers coming back from the resorts. So if price, there will be like two pricing options. If you pay in full, obviously you're gonna get a discount, but if that's not an option for you, I can break it down into two payments. Um, but I don't have the hard numbers quite yet. I will be doing a deposit to hold a spot that won't be refundable and then you'll have to pay by like probably November. But again, I don't have any, nothing's hard yet. Um, it hopefully will be hard in the next two weeks so I can launch this bad boy, which I'm really excited about to get you guys down to Costa Rica. That place is magic and I'm very excited for you. Do we have any more questions about the body gua sha, about anything that I've been talking about? I've kind of rambled today. Um, I really appreciate all the loving, kind words you guys have had. 
what else? Um, I have, what do I have for promos? I have summer 20 is still going. So if you are looking to purchase anything on the website to get 20% off of the website, use the code summer 20, no space, 20% off everything. Um, that's going to end. I thought it ended yesterday. It didn't. Um, I need to talk to the marketing team and see when that's going to end. And, oh, thanks, Leanne. You guys are going to make me cry. I swear, today, Niagara Falls. Um, thank you so much. It's It's been such a ride. Um, I'm going to get this, obviously, I need to get this situation with the retreat together. So I'm going to work on that, expect info on that, pay attention to stories. Two more products are going to be coming out. I'm not going to talk about them yet. I'm waiting for the samples to show up. They're going to be awesome. I'm really excited about that. And the new website is going to be going up soon, which I will get on here and talk about as well. Um, I appreciate all of you guys. Um, <laughs> if I do just gua sha and eat clean, will my stomach look like yours? Okay. I don't know. That's the answer. Okay. I don't know the level of inflammation in your body. Like what you're, what you're seeing from me is really five years of healing my body from the inside out. Okay. So I went in and I healed my gut and it's not healed all the way. Okay. But it's never going to be healed all the way. It's always a work in progress. And I went in and I meditated every day. So if you meditate an hour and a half and you eat clean and I'm talking clean from my standards of clean, you don't drink, you reduce the stress in your life, and you remove the toxins, yes, you will reduce the inflammation in your body to the point where you will have ab definition. But I don't know what's going on with your system, so I can't tell you. Some people have a reduction in inflammation immediately. Some people, it takes two weeks. Some people think that they can drink and still do this and expect results, and you can't. Like grains are really important, like gluten-free, grain-free, dairy-free, no alcohol, like the fundamentals of the seven day reset. If you do the seven day reset and don't steer from that, um, yeah, you will, you will, but I don't know how long it's gonna take. And I also don't know how much stress you have. And stress is really one of the most important factors in here. And meditation is extremely important. I was looking at photos of myself when I went to Joe Dispenza, the day I was at the retreat, day number one, I took a video of myself in a pink bikini. Then I took that same, I took a video of myself in that same bikini when I got home from that retreat and I had ab definition because of meditation. I didn't work out for seven days. I didn't do anything but meditate and I lost weight. It's inflammation. Um, oh, Yay, thank you. Leanne wrote, ladies, yesterday was day one for me and I slept like a baby and woke up with great energy, just an FYI. Thank you so much. We're gonna screenshot that too. Okay, Lisa asked, do you have any new gua sha tools coming out soon? I know you mentioned some new products coming. I can't talk about it. They're gonna kill me if I tell you. But maybe <laughs> they're gonna be, how about this? The new products will be in alignment with what I already have out there. Like I'm not going to put like an electric toothbrush on the website. They're going to be anti-inflammatory. They're going to be of the same category that I talk about. They will have impact in my life. So it's the, I'll be in the same realm. I'm never going to leave the realm. Okay, so it'll just be either an upgraded version of something I already have out there or it'll be a solution to a problem that I've noticed in my own product line. Like, I don't know, let's say I've, I've noticed that like people keep dropping these gua sha's and I wanna find a different material. Maybe that could be something. I don't wanna say anything, but that could be one of the products, but maybe not. You know, maybe I come out with a lotion instead of an oil. I don't know, but Possibly. Um, so it won't be anything out of the norm. It'll be something that I've used, that I've needed to use, that have, have massively impacted my body, that align with all the stuff that I talk about now. 
So it'll be dope. I'm really excited. I'm so excited actually. Um, yeah, no, no alcohol, no alcohol. I'm pretty fit and eat clean and don't have gut issues. Oh, but the time might be the issue. I don't understand what that means. The time of what? The doing the seven day reset will actually gain you time. It looks like it's gonna take more time, but I'm actually adding more time into your life. If you really look at it, you don't have to go to the gym. There's no driving to a gym. There's no gym workouts. So all that time goes back in. The workouts are 15 to 20 minutes at home. So if there's no travel time, you're not going to an hour and a half class. So if you, let's say you drive to the gym for 10 minutes, it's 10 minutes to get home. So it's 20 minutes and the hour and a half class. So that's like almost an hour and 45 minutes. I'm asking you to like be in your living room for 15 and to meditate for 15. So that's 30 minutes, which means you've gained almost an hour in your life. So this is not about time. This is about your perception of time. So um, the wine is definitely an issue. You got to cut that out. All right. If anybody doesn't, have any more questions i'm up for an hour i will put post this oh thank you leanne says just do it girls it's worth every penny it's on the website use the code summer 20 for 20 percent off of everything again i think that ends tonight or maybe tomorrow i thought it ended yesterday it didn't um i really appreciate it, everybody unless there's any more questions about anything please let me know and I hope everybody has a great day. Bye.